Hi, and welcome to the Pool and Spa Professional Influencer Series. I'm Associate Editor Anthony LaCicero. Throughout this series, we'll bring you video interviews filmed at the PSP Deck Expo. On this episode, I'm speaking with Skip Phillips, the instructor for the International Vanishing Edge Education Program and co-founder of Genesis. Skip, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks so much for the invite. Your philosophy towards backyard design has been that any project you work on should complement the home's architecture and conform to its natural environment. What elements should designers who are looking to implement this philosophy pay attention to? Sure. Well, first, most people are purchasing a home that's already built. They don't have the blessing of being able to uh, build one from scratch. So as a designer, when you go inside the home, it's more likely that you'll see the influences that actually drive them on the inside more so than you do the outside. That being said, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't be sensitive to uh, the architectural details on the exterior, for sure. Of course. And many of our readers are looking to move beyond just pools and they're focused on backyard living as a whole. What would you advise them? Well, that's, uh, that's really an American uh, design theme. Uh, certainly in Europe, it's more of a wellness philosophy. In Canada, it's actually both the wellness and the uh, outdoor living. But everybody in this industry should be doing a couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, the entire package really should come into play. And I think your design should be intentional. That's the difference is with education, you can become an intentional designer. And um, in addition to that, when people talk about pools and water features and things like that, actually the vessel itself should always be a water feature just so happens you also get to use it in a utilitarian way. That's great. And what advice do you have for backyard professionals who are trying to navigate through employment shortages and supply chain issues? That's a global problem. Uh, the, the thing is, I think as pool designers and also the people that we employ, uh, the biggest single denominator or separator is having a passion for what you do. And right now we're talking about people in the job market uh, that leaves out the passion that's really necessary to make somebody really good at what they do. So your culture as an as a organization is going to have a great deal to do with whether that's successful or not. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.